Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Mark. The lady wearing a brown hat is my grandmother. The news on TV announced a general strike for Thursday. The Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, is displayed in the Louvre. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at adjectival phrases, so stay tuned. That's right, adjectival phrases. How can we describe a noun? Well, a noun can be described using an adjective, obviously. So like uh, in a white house, or tall boy, or wooden shack. If you want to watch a lesson on adjectives, you may click here. So, we can also describe a noun using relative clauses. For example, the man who called me, etc, etc. So, relative clauses. What are they? If you want to watch a lesson on relative clauses, you may click here. And to describe a noun, we can also use adjectival phrases. And adjectival phrases are phrases whose main word is an adjective, obviously. So, the first group. So, adjectival phrases using the present participle plus an object or adverbial. If you don't know what a present participle is, you may click here to watch that lesson. So, let's take a look at my introductory example. The lady wearing a brown hat is my grandmother. Which lady? The lady wearing the brown hat. So, wearing the brown hat describes the lady. Let's take a look at another example. In my dream, I entered a restroom smelling of jasmine. Which restroom? The one smelling of jasmine. Jasmine is a flower. So, smelling of jasmine is the adjectival phrase. Now, the second group. Adjectival phrases with a preposition plus a noun if you wish to watch a lesson on prepositional phrases, you may click here. So let's take a look at my examples then. The news on TV announced a general strike for Thursday. So which news? The ones on TV. So on TV is the prepositional phrase that describes the news, right? The noun. So another example. A dog with a shaggy tail, approached me to sniff my pants. Which dog? The one with a shaggy tail. So, it describes the dog. So, with a shaggy tail is a prepositional phrase that describes the dog, right? So, let's take a look at my third group. Adjectival phrases with a past participle plus agent or adverbial. Like in my example, then, the Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, is displayed in the Louvre. So, we have painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Painted is the past participle of paint, and it describes the Mona Lisa. It's more information about a noun, about the Mona Lisa. Let's take a look at another example, then. The tomb discovered last week became of relevance after its official announcing. So we have discovered, which is a past participle, and then plus agent or adverbial, no? Last week. So it describes the tomb. So the tomb discovered last week became of relevance after its official announcing. Now, we have other types also. For example, the final exams were unbelievably difficult. So, the final exams were unbelievably difficult. So, we have an adverb, unbelievably, and then an adjective. Then, let's take a look at another example. I was extremely delighted to see you making progress in English. So, extremely here is the adverb and delighted is the adjective, right? We can also use superlative or comparative adjectives in uh, adjectival phrases. So, let's take a look at my example. 
This stone is the heaviest of all. This stone is the heaviest of all. So the stone, which one? The heaviest of all. So a superlative adjective with comparative adjectives then. A person smarter than me needs to understand this issue and explain it to me. So a person who smarter than me needs to understand this issue and explain it to me. Can you rewrite these two sentences in just one? The boy must have seen it. He was playing basketball with his friend. So once Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. If you have any questions, comments, or if you want to type your own example of adjectival phrases, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to share the lesson, I would really appreciate it. Having said that, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you next week with a new English lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.